Hi YouTube, it's me. I'm back. I'm going to do um, the last video I talked about, which was sort of a best of review for Ipsy in the last 12 months. Um, I had a really long absence from YouTube due to some stuff that I talked about in my last video. So if you want to um, figure out what that was about, you know, click on my last video. Um, but one of the things I talked about was I really missed doing the Ipsy reviews and it kind of got to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, I, I haven't done any since last year. Um, I clearly did not want to review each and every product, but I figured I would just go through and do at least one from every month um, just to give you the best of the things I really, really liked. Um, and these are all things that I think I would probably buy myself. Um, so I'm going to share them with you. Um, I am not wearing any makeup, which is not like me at all for a video. I don't usually go out even without makeup unless I'm just popping in and popping out of a store because I'm extremely self-conscious. Um, but I really, I haven't been going out too much because I'm home with the kids. And like I said, I'm going to be like pop into a store and pop out. I'm not doing anything too crazy where I'm going to be wearing makeup and it's been so hot that I don't want to wear makeup. Um, so I was like, you know what? I don't feel like putting on makeup for this video and I'm going to film one after this and I don't feel like doing one after that. Um, so, um, I decided I just was going to go fresh face besides my sparkly lip gloss. Um, but also because some of these products that are here, I figured I could show you on fresh skin, um, and let you see, um, what they look like on. I have a different backdrop. I moved where I had my laptop, um, in a different part of my dining room, uh, just cause I'm, I can't find good lighting in this house to save my life. Um, that's one thing I miss about my old house is when we bought it, my husband gutted it and he put in lighting wherever we wanted it. So everything was always bright. Um, and my parents' house, which I bought, um, just has terrible light. Um, in the daytime, there's lots of windows. So it has a lot of natural sunlight, which is nice. Um, but at night it's like a cave. So anyway, this is uh, my parents' old um, china cabinet behind me. Um, the majority of it is stuff that really does not belong to me. I'm going to address this a little bit. Um, it was stuff that was either, you know, left to me or left here. Uh, like that is my husband's Nana's china. Um, that's my parents' uh, crystal. Um, that's all pretty much my parents stuff. Uh, I kept a lot of it. My sister and I split some things, but mostly it's not mine. Uh, and this is my little Disney corner up there. See more of this Um, so anyway, um, what I'm going to do basically is I'm just going to start the last video, um, that I did was August of 2018. Like I said, it's almost been a year. Um, so I'm going to, um, start with July of 2019 and I'm just going to work my way back because I figure um, I want to give you the most current things in case maybe these things don't even exist anymore. I don't know. I didn't do too much back research on it. Um, okay. So before we get into the Ipsy things, my last video and I was talking about like the best stuff makeup things that I had found recently, um, like six months or so. I forgot my favorite thing because it was in my purse. Uh, so I just wanted to give an honorable mention, Urban Decay Unicorn Tears. Now, it looks blue. So you're thinking, like, are you walking around with blue lipstick or what? No. Um, when you put it on, because it's magical like a unicorn, it turns into, like, a pink color. It smells like cake batter. It's very reminiscent to me of, like, um... Some of the hard candy makeup I had had back in the day when hard candy was still expensive. Um, almost like a Stila also, like a sweet cakey taste. So I have had this in my purse. It's good for a quick gloss and it tastes incredible. Um, I bought this at I think Nordstrom Rack and when I was there a couple weeks ago they had this one. They had mermaid tears and they had uh Fairy Tears, I think is what it was called. And I was tempted, but I was getting the other stuff I talked about in the last video, so I didn't do it. So, honorable mention to this guy. All right, get into it now, July 2019. Now, um, this last land bag was okay, but I wasn't too overly enthused about the items that um, they had chosen for me. So, this is actually an add-on item. Um, they started maybe about, I don't know, maybe six, eight months ago. They started where you could add items onto your bag. So usually I think it's the second of the month 
you'll get an email saying like, hey, the items are live. It's a limited quantity for some of them. And for $3, you can add this into your glam bag. So I always look through and there's a few things that are in here that are, were actually add-ons because for $3, I certainly can't resist. So nothing from the bag, but I did get this as an add-on and it is um, a Smashbox Always On um, liquid lipstick. And the name of the color is Babe Alert. Um, and I really like these Smashbox um, Always Last, Always On colors. I have a few of them. There's another one in here that I actually got in, an, in another glam bag. And it's a, pre it's a pretty color. Uh, I'm not gonna swatch anything today. Um, but like that, and three dollars, I couldn't really resist that. All right, there is a ton of different uh, mascaras on here, um, so just be be warned. But this one actually technically is not a mascara. This is a um, brow brow wand, I guess is what it is. Um, which I generally, I have, I'm an Eastern, I have fairly thick eyebrows, naturally. Um, but I was like, you know what, let me try this out. And um, actually, I kind of like it, because sometimes, um, especially if I need like a wax or my eyebrows started and they're long, because I won't trim them myself, I'm too scared, um, they'll get a little bit like curly. Um, so this stuff I like, just kind of right over top of it just gives a little bit of definition which like I said I don't really particularly need um but it doesn't look bad I don't mind it so this was give me brow at benefit I like benefit I don't have a whole lot of it but the things I do have I do like all right now we are moving backwards continuously to May. I have two things from May. Um, there was a couple of products when I was going through that I would have picked, but I've actually run through them already because I liked them so much. Um, and this one is almost about gone. It's by, it's Pixie by Petra. Um, and the only place I've ever seen Pixie by Petra sold is Target. So if you know of anywhere else where Pixie by Petra is called is sold, sorry let me know. Um, but this is the Skin Treat Skin Drink Pure Hydration Gel. It goes on clear. And usually if I take a shower and I'm not going to go anywhere, I'm not going to put on makeup right away. I like to, it smells good. I like to put it on and it just gives my skin a nice sort of moisturized feeling. Also like a dewy look. Like I said, it smells really, really good. So this is almost out. I'll have to buy my own when I'm done. Okay, and then the next one is another skincare product, and um, I had never heard of this brand before, don't know where it's sold, but it's called Papa Recipe, and it is an eggplant cleansing foam. It's clear, it smells really, really good, and it leaves my skin feeling nice. I like when I get face washes. I mean, I wash my face at least twice a day, so why not? All right, so that's it for May. Continuing to go backwards now into April of 2018. Here's another one that I have almost used to death and um, is, whoa, from the brand called Delectable and it is the Body Butter Cream Triple Citrus Blend. This is smells absolutely incredible. I actually have to hide it from my son. Um, he comes into our bedroom in the morning and I have this on my a little um, like bed ta bedside table. And he was coming in and he was using it too. And I'm like, no, because I don't know where to find it. Um, they did have this as, I think, um, bonus points available for the July Glam Bag, but they were sold out because I would have used my bonus plates for this guy. Very, very good smelling. A lot for April. April was a good month. Um, the next thing I got, and this was something I, I believe I actually used my bonus, bonus points on, is Bye Bye Under Eye but by It Cosmetics. Um, and like I had heard of It Cosmetics prior to ITZY, but I had never tried any of their products. And the ones that I've tried, I'm actually super impressed with. Um, and this is one of them. So let me, I have two different under eye products here, so I guess we can compare. So this is the Bye Bye Under Eye. Now it goes on fairly thick. And since it's an under eye thing, you really don't have to go 
Look at that bag. Oh my gosh. You really don't have to do too much. This is actually probably enough for two eyes. I'll rub it on my arm. Um, so you can see like really takes away that puffy look almost immediately. So I really like that. This is definitely something I would buy for myself. And this is the color Light Natural. Um, as we're going to discuss with the things I'm going to show you, some of the products I like, but the hard thing is, is that even with their, um, you know, they match your profile, sometimes the colors aren't like exactly precisely what I would get for myself. Um, but this one's not too bad once I get my actual foundation over top. Okay, so bye-bye under eye. Okay, now we're getting into the zillion mascara. <laughs> that I got sent. Um, now this was in my pile, but I am not sure if this was April. I had to actually Google it and I did see some people saying they got this in April, so I'm going to include it. But this is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I really like Tarte. When I know I'm going to get a Tarte item in my glam bag, I am so stoked because everything I've tried from them I really, really like. Um, and this is no different. This is really good primer. And it feels nice, not too heavy. All right, so here we go into the mascaras now. Um, now, I have never heard of this brand before. I've never seen it before. I don't know where it's sold. But it's called Ducci, I think. D-O-U-C-C-E. And it's their Punk Volumizing Mascara. As far as mascaras go, it's decent. It does its job. Is it super volumizing? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it that. But it works. It's nice. So I like it. All right. Next. And I believe that this actually was an add-on, which is kind of weird since I was already getting um, other mascara. Um, but it popped up as an add-on, and it's Buxom Mascara. It is their... Oh, uh, this says Lash Mascara. Um, and... I know I like Buxom for their plumping lips. So I was like, all right, let me try out the mascara. Again, it was very, eh, it was okay. Um, just your typical, this one has those short, hard brushes. It kind of reminds me of um, Clinique's mascara. Would I purposely buy it again? Maybe. I think there's better ones out there, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, this one was another add-on, and I bought this because I had gotten something from this brand in this line before. It's called Perless, and um, what I had gotten before was a moisturizer. It was a clear moisturizer, much like the one I just showed you from Pixie by Petro. Um, but this is the Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polish Peel, so you scrub it in. It is a scrubby, and it smells like watermelons. It is a scrubby. You scrub it in, you leave it on for two minutes, you wash it off, and then you feel like a baby's butt. I like it. All right. So now we are into March 2019. I have yet another mascara. And this one was the Tarte Maneater. So of the ones I've shown you so far, I think this one is my favorite. As I said, I really do like Tarte. And this is very similar to the other one, those stubby brushes. But I feel like it does give a little more volume than the buxom one I showed you. So you guys be the judge. I'm going to save my other eye for the, um, the best one, which is coming up in a couple months. Okay. So that was Man Eater by Tarte. All right. Moving along. Okay. We have another primer, and this brand is a brand I haven't heard of. It's called Hello Fab First A Beauty, maybe. Um, and this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, safe for sensitive skin. It smells really, really good. Um, it has like almost like a coconutty smell. It's a little tinted, not that it leaves a chin on your face, it really doesn't. And it's just a really good, inexpensive primer. I know I looked into the price of this one when I first got it. I don't remember, but it was very, very good. All right, February 2018, I only have one, and it is one of two MAC products I'm going to show you. And this one is the Studio Fix Foundation by MAC. It's so tiny. Look at it. Um, so 
this is a sample I think is so cute. I wonder where else they give the samples. Um, let's see, here's the foundation, and then like a little spongy. So I'll just go over that area I just did over here, so it looks decent. I thought the skin color match was um, pretty good. It's probably a little on the darker side. I have a little bit of a tan now, so I feel like it does work better now than it would um, other times of the year. But um, it was okay. Um, I saw a bunch of MAC at, where was I? Uh, Nordstrom Rack, um, their concealer, and even at Nordstrom Rack, the prices were really expensive. I'm not sure I would ever pay that kind of price for the concealer that I thought was just like, okay. Um, but to each own. Okay, so that was, where are we? February. Now we are moving into January of 2019. And this is one that I was excited about. But I don't think the color match is a good match for me. It's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Um, and this actually is SPF 15, which I do like to have a um, sunscreen and my foundation when possible. Um, so, and I don't know how to look now just because, um, like I said, I do have a little bit of a tan. But um, I didn't think this was a very good match for my skin tone. Uh, this is the medium sand. I'm really a fair light color when it comes to these things. So I'll just do down here so you can see. It's a little bit too dark. Now, um, what I will say about it, I would try it in a lighter color for myself. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad right now because I will tone it. Um, but it leaves a really, really nice, almost like airbrushed finish. Um, and from what I understand, it really is made from natural clay. So it would be something I would definitely try in my own skin tone. Um, I have been holding on to it because what I actually do is I <laughs> mix it up with my cheaper stuff that I use for my everyday stuff. Um, like when I have a special occasion just to get a better finish um, to my foundation. So there we go, Amazonian clay. All right, now we get to the Mac Daddy of the mascaras that I have gotten in this past year, and that is the Superhero by It Cosmetics. Um, personally, I think this is just about as close to um, better than sex than anything else I've ever tried. And when you look at the wand, it has that same sort of shape to it. <clears throat> So I'll do this eye so we can compare to the Tarte one. And I mean, in my opinion, it's hard because I can't see. Um, in my opinion, I think it does give a lot more volume than most of the other ones I've tried. Um, I don't, would definitely buy this for myself. Although, as you can tell, I probably don't need to buy mascara ever again in my life. <laughs> I usually just wear these one or two times and I just put them away because I don't want them to, you know, get gross. Okay, so we are back in 2018. We are at December, I'm sorry, that was December 2018. Um, November 2018, as I talked about before, I had gotten another always on liquid lipstick from them. And of course, for November, it was a really pretty, like, burnt orange color that I wore a lot in those fall months. Really like their stuff. I, um, in my last video, I talked about how I really like the Vice line by Urban Decay. This Smashbox line, I think, would be a close second. I, they it lasts all day, and it looks great. Okay. So now we are going back to October. Um, I'm going to do under this eye now, as promised. And this is Shape Tape Contour Concealer and Corrector. So I've used this both as a concealer and a little bit of contouring, a little bit of under eye. And I really, really like this one. I like that it comes in this little wand, like a lip gloss, because it just makes for easy application. The color was definitely more on than the 
Amazonian clay. Um, between the two, I definitely think that it has a little bit better coverage, in my opinion, for my face. Okay, we have two left. Um, so, the next one is a primer from Smashbox, and I've actually used this one about halfway. Um, I love Smashbox primer. I have um, the other photo finish one that's clear that doesn't have the moisturizer in it. This one is with the moisturizer. And I also have the priming slash setting spray, which I really like too. So I was excited to get this and it is definitely moisturizing. So this was something that I was using um, when I was using a primer. I don't generally use them every day. Um, uh, but when I was using it, I was using it in the winter, which is why it's about halfway gone. So love that one. And last but not least, August of 2018. We're almost in August of 2019 for crying out loud. I picked the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. So this is not a full size. It's like in a regular plastic tube. Um, and this one it, I like, but it definitely I don't think is as wow as some of the other ones. But I was kind of keeping this in my travel bag because it's so tiny and compact. Well, that is it for this edition of Ipsy over the last 12 months, the best of. Um, and I'm hoping that once August rolls around, I'll be able to continue to do those monthly reveal videos for anyone who's interested. I have one more video that I have to do for the night, and then I think I'm going to hit the hay. Thanks. Bye.